When I say the word teleportation, what comes to our mind? Maybe the transporter from Star Trek? We have all imagined the ability to teleport. After all, who wouldn't want to travel from place to place without having to face all the tedious waiting in lines, sitting in traffic and shoving through crowds? Wouldn't it be so convenient to transform ourselves into some sort of an energy, travel through buildings, bounce around corners and change back into ourselves? Oddly enough, this might be possible at a quantum level. Here's the trick. While I cannot directly transform myself into some sort of a mystique energy, I could transfer all the information and send it over to create an exact replica, right? Hold your horses there. In quantum physics, atoms and electrons are defined by things like position, momentum, and intrinsic spin, which provides them with a unique identity. Now, this identity is quite confidential. So what happens when someone tries to sneak in and copy this? Well, the FBI... Oops, the uncertainty principle comes to our rescue, prohibiting us from knowing anything. So how can we transmit something we're not fully permitted to read without destroying it? The answer to this lies in a strange phenomenon known as quantum entanglement. So when a particle splits, two opposite entities are formed, and they're said to showcase what Einstein likes to call it, spooky action at each other. This means that the nature of A will determine B, and guess what? This influence transcends distance, whether it is a mile or even a light year apart. Hmm. So how do I use this trick? Well, when you take your info and observe it along with particle A, weird interactions take place in between them. And since particle A was already entangled to B, <laughs> voila, we have just teleported all our info to B. Now let me confirm this. Mission successful. So in principle, quantum teleportation can be used to teleport objects, even people. But at present, it seems impossible to handle the data of the trillions and trillions of atoms present in our body. But remember, never say never. In a little over a century, Mankind has advanced from knowing nothing about this to reliably creating super secure data encryption systems to this. So who knows what might we have in the next 100 or 200 years?